Learning how to solve Fermi problems. Now you must be wondering, what is a Fermi problem? A Fermi problem is a multi-step problem that can be solved in a variety of ways and whose solution requires the estimation of key pieces of information. Normally, Fermi problems seem impossible to solve. However, the one we are solving together is an easy one. How many seconds are there in a year? There are many steps to solving Fermi problems. The first step is making a list of questions, such as How many seconds are in a minute? 60 seconds. How many minutes are in an hour? 60 minutes. These questions will help you solve the rest of the problem. The next step is setting up the units. By putting year over year, you will form one, which eventually cancels out the unit. So, looking at the example above, seconds over minutes times minutes over hours will cancel what unit? Yes, you're right, minutes. Then you will see that at the end, the unit that will be left out is seconds over years. You will cancel out all the units and go to the next step. The next step is the plug and chug method. By using the plug and chug method, you can clearly see the numbers you are plugging in so you can cancel the units out later. By using the answers to the questions you made before, you can plug and chug. As shown in the example below, we plugged 60 seconds over 1 minute, times 60 minutes over an hour. Minutes will eventually cancel out, leaving seconds and hours. At the end, you will be left with seconds over years, which is what you want. You'll eventually cancel out all the units. The next step is canceling units. As mentioned before, you'll end up with seconds over years. What you have to do to get the final answer is multiply all of the numbers on top, which will end up with 31,536,000 seconds per year. See? You end up with seconds over a year, which is what you want to solve the problem. Percentage of error. After solving any Fermi problems, you write down the percentage of error. Percentage of error is anything that might interfere with the final results, explaining why the final answer is an estimate. An example for this Fermi problem would be, February has 28 days. You want to write down at least three percentages of error, which can also be written in bullet form.